dual response recordings in which a pilot or a controller is speaking in a non-routine situation. If you need to hear a recording again, you must ask. You will have 20 seconds to respond. Okay? Yes. In part A, you will hear six short recordings. You need to report the message fully. There are two things to report. What was the message? Who do you think was speaking, a pilot or a controller? Situation one. There has been a crash on the runway. You must go around. Report what you can. There has been a crash on the runway. You must go around. The controller is speaking. Thank you. Situation two. Police have wanted our pen with sniffy dogs. We're going to be delayed. Report what you can. Police have ordered our plane with sniffer dogs. We are going to be delayed. The pilot is speaking. Thank you. Situation 3. We reverted to our alternate because we experienced wind shear on our final approach. Report what you can. Uh, we are diverting, diverting to our alternate because of we have experienced uh, wind shear. And this question? Um, the pilot is, is speaking. Thank you. Situation 4. One of our passengers is bleeding. Can you arrange medical assistance upon arrival? Report what you can. Um, one of our passengers is bleeding. Uh, can, we, uh, can you arrange medical assistance upon arrival? Um, the pilot is speaking. Thank you. Situation 5. You are approaching restricted airspace. Do you have permission to enter? Report what you can. You are approaching restricted airspace. Do you have permission to enter? The, here the controller is speaking. Thank you. Situation 6. What's your last known position? I don't have you on my screen. Report what you can. What's your last known position? I don't have you on my screen. Uh, the controller is speaking. Thank you. Now, in part B, you will hear four longer recordings. Each speaker will describe a problem, say what they need and give some extra details. You need to report the message fully. The more details you provide, the better. You can take notes, okay? Yes. Situation one. Copy your message about limited visibility. We've entered thick white fog. We've lost all visual contact with the field. Can you give me back to ring for runway 09? Can you repeat, please? Okay, that works well. Situation 1. Copy your message about limited visibility. We've entered thick white fog. We've lost all visual contact with the field. Can you give me back to ring for runway 09? Report what you can. Uh, it's about a plane which and which enters a limited uh, an area which has a uh, limited visibility due to thick white fog. So they are I think they are on runway zero nine. Thank you. Situation two. Captain crew are speaking to the suspicious man now. He was behaving very strangely. We need to get him off the plane as quickly as possible. Can we have security down to gate 5 9 to speak to him? Report what you can. Uh, the, the cabin crew is speaking to, are speaking to a man 
who is acting strangely, and they need to get him off the plane now. And they need to have a, a security at the at the gates five nine. Thank you. Situation three. Tower, we very nearly crashed into the luggage tractor that just crossed in front of us on the taxiway papa. The driver didn't hold at the crossing point, Charlie. Can you pass that on to ground services, please? So can you repeat that, please? Okay, that one's well. Situation three. Tower, we very nearly crashed into the luggage tractor that just crossed in front of us on the taxiway papa. The driver didn't hold at the crossing point, Charlie. Can you pass that on to ground services, please? Report what you can. Um, a pilot is saying to the tower that they nearly crashed into a truck uh, on the runway Papa, and they would like to be connected to the ground service. Thank you. Situation 4. We understand that you have a passenger who has had a seizure. As requested, we have alerted medical services and we will meet you upon arrival. We have asked if the passenger is breathing normally. Please confirm. Uh, Report what you can. Yeah. So, the, the controller is asking, is saying that. Uh, the the you've told that there is a passenger who's had a seizure and they've called to medical service and which will uh, assist you at uh, upon arrival and but they are asking if the passenger is breathing normally. Thank you. Can I take the task card and the pen back, please? Part C, you'll hear three recordings in more general situations. Listen to the speaker and ask some questions to find out more about the situation. Ask as many questions as you can. Situation one. We need some help. The radio isn't working. Ask questions. Um, have you turned on the volume? Have you checked if it's uh, if the radio is on? Uh, have you plugged Have you plugged in the headsets? What advice would you give to this speaker? Uh, you should restart the radio. You should check the, if all the electrical devices devices are working. You should uh, plug your headsets. Thank you. Situation 2. We have a problem. There's a strong smell in the cabin. Ask questions. Uh, what type of smell is it? Um, is there someone small? Is, is it uh, a small smoking smell? What advice would you give to this speaker? Uh, you should check if there is a fire on the engines. You should uh, uh, try to identify where it, it's coming from. Um, Thank you. Situation 3. We have a situation. A passenger's health is not good. Ask questions. Um, is he having a heart attack? Is he breathing normally? Um, has he had enough food? What advice would you give to this speaker? Um, you should speak to this person to know what's happening. You should uh, 
um, ask if there is a, a doctor on board. You should uh, try to calm him down. Thank you. Now we'll move on to part 